Hi, my name is Matthew and I work on behalf of educational company EducationWise to provide you, the viewer slash reader, with a sample analysis of content in the form of an interactive presentation or video relating to the world leading media giant 20th Century Fox. 20th Century Fox are a conglomerate company, which is a company consisting of smaller companies called subsidiaries of different relational sizes to make up the complete company 20th Century Fox, whose aim is to provide worldwide media to the global population in the form of film television and readable content. Within this article you will find information on ownership of the company, their operating model of the company, products of the company and also the market position of the company. The company itself is not an independent company. Independent companies are not owned or own themselves. Other companies in or out of the media industry which means therefore all content produced by the company is developed and operated by itself. Ownership the company 20th Century Fox is owned by Rupert Murdoch. Rupert went on to create 21st Century Fox, which was a rebrand of his original company, News Corp. The company itself is a conglomerate, meaning it has smaller companies called subsidiaries which work together to make the whole company. Although these subsidiaries are not normally deemed to be standalone companies in the 20th Century Fox broad image, its subsidiaries also make up other conglomerates. Similar companies with the same style of structure include Disney, Universal, Twitter, Microsoft and Comcast. In a normal day over 4 billion people will somewhere encounter 20th Century Fox's media in different forms. For example, 20th Century Fox also owns company Sky, one of the most popular TV broadcasting companies in the world. The company itself is a conglomerate, meaning it consists of smaller sized companies, which also may be conglomerates. These smaller companies are named subsidiaries. 20th Century Fox operate as a cross-media company, this is when a company owns more than one type of media by owning the companies that produce different media. As an example of 20th Century Fox as CMC is Fox TV, Fox Home Entertainment and News Corp, which, was, which provides newspaper articles and news TV channels. 20th Century Fox are also classed as a commercial company, meaning that the company produce content to gain revenue. Examples of this are 20th Century Fox produce which, contain, uh, which are created solely for revenue from the consumer to the company. <laughs> the ability of being a bit CMC also works by allowing 20th Century Fox to promote their own content across different platforms. This is known as synergy. Having the ability means that Fox can make a lot more revenue in a shorter period of time. 20th Century Fox also works with other large or independent companies as a joint venture. Without joint ventures, companies like 20th Century Fox would fail to reach the massive target audience they try to establish within their media. 20th Century Fox occasionally work with the company DreamWorks to generate more revenue and a wider target audience. Operating Model 20th Century Fox operate under a certain model, which involves different styles of integration, one being vertical and one being horizontal. These different integration techniques allow the company to operate fluently between the different sections of the PDE process, production, distribution and exchange of media products. Some would argue that one type of integration is more important than another, but both are needed for a conglomerate such as 20th Century Fox to operate correctly. For a company to gain revenue for products easier, they can have business partners, aka affiliates, that work alongside each other. One example is DreamWorks, which have worked alongside 20th Century Fox to be a joint venture. Another name for this process is horizontal integration, which creates synergy via cross-promotion. In horizontal integration, the company creates or acquires production units for media, which allow their products to be passed to the consumers over different platforms and areas. This in turn means that a wider target audience is reached, which generates more revenue for the company. Examples of this for 20th Century Fox are Fox TV, Talk Radio, Fox Home Entertainment, and The Sun. Another method which only affects conglomerates is vertical integration, the ability for a company to control the production, distribution, and exchange of its products. Each section does something different with the media, for example, the production is making of the media. The distribution is providing of the products to the retailers. Marketing also comes under this section, and the exchange where audience consumption occurs. The ability to do such makes it much easier for produced media to pass from the creator to the consumer. 
This is because companies like 20th Century Fox have subsidiaries to their PDE, their, to PDE their media. This integration process can be known as the film production cycle. Another model is the film production process. This is where this is the way the companies control the pre-production, production, and post-production. <coughs> pre-production consists of sourcing actors from films, scouting for a suitable location, gathering props, and selecting a budget, creating scripts, and of course finding a director. After pre-production comes the production process. This is when the actual film or media is created. This includes filming the scenes, dress routine, acting, pyrotechnics, and possible chroma key. Following the production process comes the final part of the film production process, post-production. Here editing occurs, potential creation of the trailer, and CGI implementation, audio, and editing the composition. Once again this process is made easier by the company having subsidiaries which can all source information for the final film. Products 20th Century Fox are a mainstream company, meaning popular or international. This is because their subsidiaries consist of worldwide coverage with content produced and developed by Fox or developed by broadcasting as by Fox. As 20th Century Fox are mainstream, they are not niche company, which means local or national company. Which allows Fox to generate a lot more revenue per annum and focus on products reaching a wider target audience than a niche company. 20th Century Fox themselves have had a lot of success in uh, in films, including Avatar, Star Wars, which was distributed by 20th Century Fox, and Home Alone. 20th Century Fox's subsidiaries have also produced successful mainstream media within companies like Blue Sky, focusing on children's animation media like Ice Age and Rio. This was also in collaboration with DreamWorks as an affiliate to help reach a wider target audience. Other companies owned by 20th Century Fox, such as Sky, have also created mainstream series, especially on Sky Channel 1, which broadcast Idiot Abroad, bringing in 2,659,000 viewers, and Friends with over 2,860,000 net views. Other well-known creations by subsidiaries of 20th Century Fox are Family Guy, Fox Home Animations, The Simpsons, Gracie Films, and previously owned IGN, Imagine Games Network, which was sold in 2013. In terms of target audience, 20th Century Fox focuses on a worldwide universal audience, with each of its products being focused on a different audience. For example, mainstream animation Family Guy is aimed at older teenagers, whilst films such as Home Alone are focused at a wider target audience. Other target audiences include Rio, aimed at young children, Star Wars, aimed at teenage to adult audiences, and Documentary Channel, National Geographic, aimed at all ages. Vaughn focuses on multiple genres as well, from comedy, Family Guy, Idiot Abroad, Family, Ice Age Home Alone, Action, Slash Sci-Fi, Star Wars, Rio, which is for children, and many more. Market Position 20th Century Fox can state their success in many different ways. One way is its revenue turned over in 2014, which was approximately $31.867 billion in total. This success can be shown if you view the year before in 2013, which only made approximately $27.657 billion, meaning an overall increase of $4.192 billion in one year. Another way of viewing 20th Century Fox's success in the me media market is having a 10% market share in the box office studio, details according to boxofficemojo.com, which puts 20th Century Fox in 4th position coming under Universal, Buena Vista and Warner Brothers. <laughs> Another measurement for success in 20th Century Fox is age in its produced in media content. 20th Century Fox was created in, on May the 31st, 1935, which to this year, 2015, makes the company 80 years old in production of media content. 20th Century Fox's success can also be, uh, be judged based on some of awards given to the company for films created. One example of this is the film Avatar, which was a highly successful film created in 2009. The film was awarded Best Sell in 2010 in American States, along with being nominated for nine Academy Awards, of which included the Best Picture and Best Director, sourced from Wikipedia. In terms of operation and success to similar companies, Universal, Warner Brothers, 20th Century Fox's best film, Avatar, 
generated over $2 billion in revenue compared to Universal's best, Jurassic World, which only generated $1.65 billion in profit, making 20th Century Fox's production better in terms of revenue gained per top film. As a mainstream supplier of media and film, it's important that 20th Century Fox have an international profile with consumers across the world to be a successful conglomerate. This is visible in 20th Century Fox's Star Studios, which is an Indian film and television production company, which is also a subsidiary of 20th Century Fox. Competitors Close competitors to the 20th Century Fox conglomerate are Warner Brothers and Paramount. These companies are considered as close competitors as they have roughly the same 2015 market share to 20th Century Fox. All companies are also in the film industry and therefore provide more reasoning to make them close competitors to 20th Century Fox. Furthermore, all companies are conglomerates so they have a high value in the media industry. Examples of the company's success arise within 2014 where 20th Century Fox's market share was the highest out of all film industries. 20th Century Fox had a 17.3% market share whilst Warner Brothers only had a 15.1% and Paramount fell 6th with a 10.2% market share. In 2014, 20th Century Fox's second best film generated more gross revenue than Warner Brothers' best by approximately $8 million, and more than Paramount's second best by approximately $17 million. 20th Century Fox stand out compared to other companies like Warner Brothers by producing high-end media that generates hundreds of millions in revenue. 20th Century Fox's best film Avatar generated $2,027,457,462 in total gross revenue, which made it the best grossing film of 2009, standing out from any other competitors. Thanks for watching my video slash vlog. I hope you'll have learned some new information about my research for media conglomerate 20th Century Fox.